Alright, so in this video we'll talk about eigenbasis and eigenvalues and eigenvectors for a matrix. I'm going to start with an example. The goal is pretty simple. I'm going to take one matrix and I want to figure out what multiplication by that matrix does on the plane, so on Rn in general. Um, here's a matrix. Minus 15 over 17, 8 over 17, 8 over 17, and 15 over 17. It's pretty cryptic. So staring at it, I don't know what it does. I'm going to start by looking at what it does to the basis vectors like we did in the past. So if I multiply 1, 0 by this matrix, I'm going to get the first column. So minus 15 over 17 and 8 over 17. All right, and if I look at the second basis vector, I'm going to get 8 over 17 and 15 over 17. All right, let me try to graph these. Um, I'm going to take two colors. Let's use blue for the first. So this is my first vector. Uh, my second one is along the y-axis, so it looks something like this. If I multiply by a, I'm going to still be in the plane. I'm going to get the blue one is this one, so minus 15 over 17, that's around here, 8 over 17 looks something like this. All right, and 8 over 17, 15 over 17 um, looks something like this. It's hard to see what this is. Like it looks something like a reflection maybe because the two are switching, the lengths are not changing, the angle is the same, but it's not clear. So let's say we're inspired. Then we get this idea. Uh, instead of looking at the standard basis, let's look at a different one. So let's say somebody helps me and tells me to look at t of 1, 4 and t of minus 4, 1. Alright, so they seem like random vectors, but let's multiply a by them. If I multiply by 1, 4, and I multiply this one by minus 4, 1. All right, so I'm going to give you a chance to compute them yourselves while I stare at it but blind, blankly. So minus 15 plus 32, that's going to be a 1, 8 plus 60, that's going to be a 4. Now that's interesting, the vector 1, 4 isn't moved at all. Now if I take minus 4, 1, I'm going to get 4. Minus one. All right, let's draw this. Okay, so I'm going to take same plane. But now my vectors are going to be 1, 4. So 1, 4 is about here. And then 
minus 4, 1 is this vector. 1, 4 is left the same, so 1, 4 will stay right here. And then minus 4, 1 will become 4 minus 1, so that one's flipped. So the first vector stays the same, the other one is flipped. So now we see a reflection. This looked like one, but now we know what it is. So T is a reflection. And we even know the line. It's the blue vector that gives us the line. Um, across, um, let's see, so this one, so span of 1, 4. All right, so figuring out what TA does on the general basis gives us not much, but this special basis that was built especially for this matrix gives us the whole story. We could see it's a reflection on let me draw it in green. It's a reflection on this line 